Good day mga ka-global, this is Jesse Estrada. I'll be your host for the new segment of the Global Philippines show called Brother J. In my segment, we will be discussing different inspiring stories from different OFW, particularly those who are living in Dubai. Those OFW who struggles and face difficulties in their lives but came out strong and successful with their own struggles. Sa palagay ko, even my own story or own experience in Dubai could be best example for that difficult to easy life story in Dubai. I arrived in Dubai in the year 2005. The reason for that is, kailangan ko na mas higher and bigger salary. Kasi ang family na wife ko, although may mga connections sa politics, hindi ganyan ang kanyang karakter. Gusto niya talaga ang tao ay tumatayaw sa sarili to fall. But in respect for my Bielan, isa siyang matulungin na abogado sa Pilipinas. Tunay nga na matulungin at na-inspire ako sa kanyang buhay. Napaka-low profile ng kanyang buhay. Back in my career dito sa Dubai, medyo okay ang aking trabaho. Then, nagkaroon na magandang development. So, before ng recession 2008, I was working in the international freight forwarding or logistics company. And that time, logistics in the Middle East was really booming. So, since Dubai is a hub when it comes to logistics. Yung maganda ang sector ng logistics, kaya okay ako nun in between 2005 and 2008. After a year, my wife Emily and my eldest son JD dinlakot sila dito sa Dubai until 2008 dumating ang recession. Sa recession, we were badly hit financially speaking. Nandiyan yun sa double deck kami tatlo at tutulog. Yung GZAR, dito sa Dubai natutunan namin kumain ng GZAR. Dahil wala nga kaming finances, sira kaming finances, walang trabaho. Ang anak ko from private school, nasit sa sa ibang school because of the finances. Dahil hindi na namin kaya na yung afford. But then, may mga taong tumulong sa amin. Nandyan ang aming church, nandyan ang aming pastor, ang aming church meets, mga friends na tumutulong sa amin, and even one charitable institution na tinulungan kami. Sabi nga nila, hindi ka ba nahiya na i-share itong naging experience mo? Wala naman ako dapat ikahiya that I think all of us ay tumataan sa struggles and trials sa buhay. So I really thank God for those people who helped uh, us para makabawi sa aming mga finances. After those difficulties, hardships na na-experience namin sa Dubai, then again, I was employed by a multinational European company. Life is a little bit better than now. I say, Better, not best, because until now, tumadaan pa rin tayo sa mga struggles and difficulties in life. Even now, this pandemic cost me a lot of things. First, my salary. I had this big salary cut. But life must go on. Hindi tayo titili dyan. Yan ang tatak ng global Pinoy. Lumalaban tayo sa mga hamon ng buhay. Nung pandemic, napakarami. Very inspiring stories dito sa Dubai or sa the whole UAE. Nakita natin may mga groups na tumayo para i-share ang kanilang blessing, i-share ang kanilang mga kung ano man meron sila para tumulong sa mga ating kababayan na talagang deeply affected financially yung mga naran ng work, yung mga may salary cut nga, no work, no pay. So nakakatuwa ang mga istorya ng Pilipino dito sa Dubai. Even ako, meron ako sila niyan ng grupo na voluntarily nagbibigay ng tulog ang iba sa kanila, meron salary cut or no work no pay, still, they were able to share their blessings to our kapapayans. As Filipinos, alam natin na nandyan ang Diyos sa atin eh. So tayo mga Pilipino, malapit tayo sa simbahan. And I was very thankful dahil dito sa Dubai, nakatagpo din ako ng isang church na tumulong sa amin din financially and spiritually. Because kung wala itong mga churches natin dito sa UAE, I would say na denomination mo, tumutulong sila sa development ng spiritual natin, which is very helpful sa buhay natin. Without their guidance, without their counseling, makasumuko na tayo sa hamon ng buhay, di ba? So, I am very thankful that I'm a part of a Redeemer Church of Dubai. I've been a part of a Redeemer Church of Dubai for five years now. And there in our church, we have approximately 23 different nationalities. And the cool thing here is, iba-ibang lahi, iba-ibang cultures, iba-ibang tradition in one group, in one church. Very inspiring story as well, I would say. 
So that's my simple and humble story. I hope na inspire kayo kahit pa paano sa story ng aking buhay, kung paano ako po napunta ng Dubai, kung ano yung reason, bakit po ang tatang ng Dubai, kung sila tumulong sa akin sa Dubai, sila nagbigay sa akin inspiration dito sa Dubai. In our next episode, I will be discussing a very inspiring story once more. At nawa, by next episode, makasama namin kayo. That would be all for now. Before we close, I would like to share with you this quote of the day. We all have our own struggles, but don't make them permanent. Instead, make them just a part of our life. Ang struggles, normal lang sa buhay natin yan. Sabi nga natin eh, kakambal ng buhay ang problema. Don't make them permanent in your life. Lilipas din yan. Tiwala lang yung sabi niya at tiwala sa inyo. Muli po, hanggang sa susunod natin episode mga pag-global, this is your brother Jay. I hope and pray that you have been inspired by today's story. Be safe and God bless.